Bradley coming to you from www.scottbradley.name. And in this Evernote Scott video, I am going to share one super duper secret tip with you that I just found out that is going to be relevant and applicable to you if you are fearful that someone may hack into your Evernote account and look at some notes with super private text that only you want to see. Um, the feat, it's the one feature that I'm going to show you today that's a very, this is going to be a very short video. And basically the feature I'm going to show you is how to encrypt text in your Evernote account. Now one note that you need to, need to know about is that this is not available on the Evernote.com web-based version. It's only available on the desktop-based and iOS-based and Android-based versions. So right now I'm in a note within my desktop version of my um, application and I'm going to show you how this works very shortly. Now before I do that real quick, I want to let you know if you have not signed up for video updates when I publish new videos to this channel, all you need to do is to go to scottbradley.name slash Evernote tips, put your info in, and it's going to be a double opt-in email process and every new video that I publish, you will be getting an email from me. So, if you want to encrypt text in a note, here's exactly what you need to do. Again, I'm kind of having fun here. The title of this note is the Super Duper Private Note, and the text I want to encrypt is Super Duper Private Text I Don't Want to Share with Anybody. So, say that you have notes with passwords or private or sensitive information, I'm going to show you how to encrypt it. So the first thing you need to do is highlight it with your mouse. Right click the text and you're going to see this little option here that says encrypt selected text. You're going to want to click that and it's going to pop up a little window. Now at the top here it says choose an encryption pass passphrase and note the passphrases are case sensitive. So just for the sake of the illustration I'm going to put the word test. T-E-S-T. -E you want to re-encrypt it or re-enter the password T-E-S-T -E and just let a little warning here from Evernote. Evernote does not store a copy of your encryption passphrase. If you forget this passphrase, Evernote cannot recover your encrypted content. So make sure that you never forget this passphrase, otherwise you'll never be able to access the secret content that you that you um, created in your Evernote. Now finally, um, kind of like other websites, um, Evernote has given us an option to put a reminder for what the password may be. So if it's your dog's name, it's you know, my dog from fifth grade or whatever. You can pop that in there and also remember the passphrase until you quit Evernote. And then basically, you're, I'm not going to fill this out, so I'm going to just press OK. So as you can see here in the web base, in the desktop-based version, um, it's now showing this you know, little option and it's encrypted content. And say that I go and I wake up the next day and I'm like, OK, I need to look at this encrypted content. Here's how to get to it. All you do is hover your mouse, click it. You say Show Encrypted Text. It's going to pop up a little window saying put in your password and I'm going to put T-E-S-T -E and it's going to be OK. And there's my text. Super duper private text I don't want anyone to see. So that is the one feature I wanted to shoot and show you in this video. I think it's really valuable, especially if you do use your Evernote to store some very private and sensitive information. And that's pretty much it for this video. I said it was going to be very short, so I wanted to live up to my word. Again, if you haven't signed up, go to scottbradley.name slash Evernote tips for future videos. And I look forward to creating the next video for you. And I hope you have a great rest of your week and a wonderful weekend. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.